Hello everyone and welcome to Virgin Active Online Plus. Today, we're in a slightly different location. We are on board the Valiant Lady. Okay, we're in the middle of the English Channel on our way to Bruges. We've been invited here by Virgin Voyages. And today, we're gonna take you through a hit workout up on deck 16, okay? We're on the top deck. It's a beautiful location, we're here for it. <laughs> so, for the workout today, what we're going to be doing is a basic hip workout, okay? The structures, the time structure is going to change as we go. It's about six exercises with some active rest in there as well. Really simple exercises, but these exercises are going to get your heart rate up. We're going to get a little bit of a burn in the muscles as well. I'll talk to you how, talk about how we can go through tempo changes, make it more fun, okay? And Kyle might even get some dancing in here as well, yeah? Because we've got to keep this guy warm, all right? We're a little chilly right now. So, real simple start. Warm up, then we'll take you through the exercises and we're off, okay? So, let's just start with a walkout. Starting at the end of your mat, I'm just gonna have you bring your hands down to the ground and then walk yourself out to a full plank position, nice and slowly. Now we're gonna walk ourselves back up again, okay? If you're starting off first workout of the day, last workout of the day, whatever it is, you're gonna need to warm up properly. So we'll do our mobility, we'll make sure that we're ready to move properly. So we'll do about three or four of these, okay? Just moving up, walking up, getting those shoulders warmed up a little bit, getting the hips warmed up as well, moving back up to standing position. Really good. Now on the next one, we're gonna try a downward facing dog, okay? So come back down to that plank, throwing in some yoga poses here. We're gonna push those hips up to the sky, and then open up that upper back. What we look for here is getting that head right between the shoulder blades. Really opening up that upper back, getting those hips open up. So bring it back to plank again. Drop the hips all the way to the floor on this one. And then look up to the sky. Open up the upper back, shoulders. There we go. Looking zen over here. Now on the next one, we're going to walk ourselves back up again. And then we get to the top of this, we're going to go straight back into a squat. Okay, so in the squat, we'll go nice and low, as low as we can go. And let's open up those hips a little bit. What a location. Okay, here we are, middle of the ocean. Don't get to do this every day. So, come up and down through about five squats. Just open up those hips, pushing the knees out over the toes. We are going to be doing some squats today, so it's really important we mimic those movements that we're going to be doing in this workout, okay? Dropping it down nice and low, holding it, coming up, back up again. Now, what we're going to do is a lunge. So, again, we're going to do some lunges today, so it's really just good just to go through these exercises and prep everything, make sure that you're ready. So, stepping forward into a lunge, Knee goes about an inch away from the floor, come back up again to standing, and then alternate to the opposite side. Now, go slowly. You can still get injured in a warm-up. We know that. We have to make sure that we're going slowly through every movement, activating all those muscles, and making sure that we're ready. Because this hit workout is gonna be fast. It's gonna be, as it, is on the, as it says on the box, hit workout, high intensity interval training, all right? So, we're gonna get the heart rate up a little bit on the next one. Standing, turning on the mat. We're just gonna go into, you can stand in front of the mat, actually. Uh, just do a jump jack, pretty simple. Get the arms up overhead and open up that upper back. So the thing here is, we're gonna match the intensity of the workout with the first round of warm up, okay? So we get the heart rate up a little bit and make sure that we're ready to move. The first thing we're gonna be doing, or the first movement we're gonna be doing, is gonna be a push up. Now, I'm actually gonna take you through the whole workout in this first round. So it's gonna be like 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, and in that 30 seconds, we'll intro you to the next exercise, okay? Keep it simple like that, just so it's fresh in your memory. Let's do this first round. How are we feeling, Carl? Oh, getting there, I'm getting there. Getting there. I think we need a little more, right? We need a little more of a warm-up. It's going to have to be, has to happen, okay? So, what we'll do on the next one, now we've got that bit of movement around our body, we've got some blood flowing around our body, let's do some burpees, right? We've got, we're going to do them in the workout. That's a surprise. But, <laughs> so, just simple, okay? Onto your mat. Let's start slow on these ones. So, hands to the ground, kick your feet out. Don't even do a push-up on the first one, okay? So, hands down, kick your feet out, drop them back in again and then stand up, simple. So we'll do two like that, okay? So this is a variation of the burpee. You don't always have to do the push-up. This is a no push-up burpee. Now, let's try this all the way to the ground. So chest to floor. So hit the ground all the way down and then jump yourself back up again. Easy. And the last one we'll try is the little jump at the end. <laughs> so, listen up team, we're going to get started on this one, this next one. We'll go through the first exercise, we're going to keep it real simple. We're going to do a push-up, a regular push-up. So, 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. In that 30 seconds rest, we'll talk to you about the next exercise. So, in 10 seconds, we're going to get ready to go, okay? I'm keeping time here. So, 30 seconds of push-up, take your time, we're still warming up, alright? We move in 3, 2, 1. So. 
push-ups. You could do these on your knees, you can do them on your toes, whatever you're comfortable for. The one thing I always say with push-ups is, if you're not able to get that full depth, go to your knees. There's no point in doing a half push-up. You're not gonna get that, that strength in the range, okay? So what we try to do is, we make sure we can get our chest down below the, the elbows if possible, and if you can't do that, drop to your knees. It's totally fine to do that, especially when we do these higher rep ranges, okay? So, in about five seconds, we're just gonna bring it up to standing in three, two, and one. Right, up to your feet. Now, 30 seconds rest. Just watch Carl for this one. So, standing at the end of your mat, it's pretty simple. We're gonna do a lunge, a reverse lunge, into a high knee drive. So, if you come forward a little bit there. So, reverse lunge, and then high knee drive. So, we'll stay on one side for about 15 seconds, and then the other side for 15 seconds. You still have a little rest, so take your time here. All right? So, this first round is like an extended warm-up. This first round, you don't have to worry too much about how many reps you're doing, how high up you're getting your heart rate. Right now, this is just the extended warm up. We're going to make sure we're ready to move. So, in two, one, four, reverse lunge into that high knee drive. Okay, so bringing the knee up, we'll stay about 15 seconds on each side. Probably get about three or four reps, nothing too crazy. Okay, knee goes nice and high. <laughs> we're wobbly on deck here. All right, switch to the opposite side. There's about halfway. Drop that knee back, bring the knee up nice and high. Beautiful. So run that knee back, coming up with that knee. A little bit more on the balance here today. In two, one, and relax. Okay, really simple. We're gonna do one more leg exercise. So the next one is a regular bodyweight squat, okay? So for the bodyweight squat, find yourself into a position and just go slowly on this one, okay? So 20 seconds rest. Find your feet, feet go to the outside of the hips, toes turned out slightly, and just dropping down into that seated position, okay? How are we feeling? All right, this is still our warm-up. Don't worry about what you're doing here. Just worry about the reps. Make sure that you're getting good form. Quality reps, okay? So in three, two, one, let's go. Just drop it into a squat. So the last two exercises are going to be what, what we call our cardio accelerators, okay? Those exercises are going to get our heart rate through the roof. So there's going to be a burpee in there, and there's going to be some running on the spot, but then I'm going to give you an active recovery round as well, okay? So this is exercise number three, just a regular body weight squat, okay? We'll talk about how we can make this more challenging if we need to. So 10 seconds left. Keep it there, nice and slow. Doesn't have to be too crazy. In four, three, two, and one. Okay, simple. Third exercise, fourth exercise. To the floor, we're gonna go for a narrow push-up. So a little variation on our push-up. All we're gonna do is take our grip a little bit closer. We're gonna focus on the triceps a little bit, a little more on those front delts as well, okay? So, when you're ready, you get down to the floor. We're not starting just yet. 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. The next round is going to get more challenging. Be prepared for it, okay? 10 seconds. You want to get yourself ready, Carl. Onto the floor. So, taking that sort of diamond shape with your hands. You don't have to get too close. In two, one, let's go. Okay, so, the elbows want to go down the side of the body, okay? So, closer to the side. If you can't get that diamond grip, if this isn't good for your wrist, you can always go a little bit wider. And again, knees if you want to. You don't have to be on your toes for these ones. Especially this exercise. Exercise. The triceps are going to get burned out really quickly. So if you need to rest, it's fine. And if you need to go to the knees, that's totally fine. We'll look for that depth on this one as well, okay? So keep it there. Keep it there for five, four, three, two, and time. Good. 30 seconds rest, okay? So there's exercise number four. We're going to come back up to our feet. Now, this next one is going to be a mountain climber, okay? Really simple. So into that push-up position, stack the wrists under the shoulders, and then just knees coming in. Go, nice and tight. I'll do a few reps so I can keep myself warm. All right? Ten seconds. We've got two cardio accelerators coming up. So we've got mountain climbers, and then we've got that burpee to finish off, all right? So in four, three, two, one, let's go. Okay? Knees in, there we go. So through these exercises, we have our push-ups, we have our lunge with the high knee drive, okay? We have that squat, we have that narrow push-up. Number five, we have the mountain climber. And number six, we have that burpee, that last exercise. That's gonna get the heart rate through the roof, okay? So the shoulders are gonna start to feel pretty tired here after those push-ups. Keep it there, Carl, you got this. Knees coming in, keep that core locked tight, belly button pulled up into the rib cage, nice and strong. Two, one, and rest, okay? 30 seconds, and then that last one, we're gonna pace ourselves on a burpee, okay? <laughs> so, we pace ourselves on the burpee. That means we don't try and get a, like many reps on this one. We just wanna go and get about four or five. Really simple, okay? Nothing too crazy. The last rounds is where we're gonna really go for it, all right? So, 
Here we go, in 10 seconds, it's a burpee. So choose your style. You can go no push-up burpee, you can go chest to floor burpee if you want to. You can also add that jump in at the end as well, okay? In two, one, let's go. So drop down, push out. Now remember, for this one, don't go crazy. I just want you to get about five reps. Nothing too crazy, it's only 30 seconds. Go slow, get comfortable with the movement. Don't do the push-up, do the push-up. Chest to floor if you want to, okay? Here we go, 15 seconds left. Beautiful work. In 10 seconds. Keep it there, beautiful, Carl. All right, in four, three, two, and one. Okay, hold it there. So, this is called an active recovery. For this one, stay busy. Stay on the toes, you can dance, you can move, you can stay in that jump jack. We're listening to the sounds of the beach club right now behind us, all right? So, we're gonna go again. We take a minute rest for this one, okay? And then we go again. But in the next round, we start to bring things up a little bit. We're gonna go 40 seconds on and 20 seconds rest, okay? So 40 on, 20 off. How's that sound? Is it good? Yeah. <laughs> it's true. All right, so we're only gonna go for three rounds in this, all right? 40, 20, and then the last one's gonna be 50, 10. So it is gonna get more challenging as we go. That first round's gonna be the push-up, okay? We've got 20 seconds. Keep yourself busy there. We're going into that push-up. Now, make sure you're getting nice full range on these ones. We've got 40 seconds to go, so pace yourself, but also try a little bit harder, okay? So, in 10 seconds, get to your mat, get yourself ready to go. Nice, solid push-up position, and in this long round, it's okay to go to your knees, all right? In two, one, let's go. All right, so 40 seconds on this one. 40 second round. So, Carl's keeping a nice solid form here. Nice straight line between the back of his shoulders all the way down to the heels, all right? If you feel like your hips are starting to sag, that's another indication that maybe you can go to your knees, all right? Because we're looking at trunk stability in this push-up. It's not just about doing a push-up through the shoulders. It's about keeping that core, that midline tight as well, okay? So we've got about 10 seconds, 12 seconds to go. Now do those on your knees. Make sure you can get those quality reps. This is how we finish out, okay? Getting those push-ups nice and low. Keep it there for four, three, two, one, and 20 seconds rest. Okay, 20 seconds is a short time on this one. So we've got that lunge, okay? The reverse lunge to high knee drive, okay? So from the reverse lunge to high knee drive, the last one, you see Carl got, had a bit of a hard time with balance, but that's because we're in the middle of the ocean, all right? So in five seconds, get ready in three, two, and one. So stay on one side for 20 seconds, other side for 20 seconds, okay? So maintain that stability, eyes stay straight ahead, okay? One way to just keep balance, whatever surface you're on, is just to keep your eyes on one surface, one spot, okay? Keep your eyes down. That's easier, all right? Keep it there for three, two, switch sides. There we go, 20 seconds. Knee goes high, beautiful. All right, so big things we're looking for here. You keep that knee tracked over the laces of your shoes. There's a nice straight line, okay? Keep your eyes down on it, however you want to do this. Making sure that you keep that knee in there. Don't let it push out to the side or into the middle, okay? Keep it there for three, two, and resting. There we go, simple. The last round, I'll show you how to make those harder, okay? Right, so we keep it there. On the next one, we're gonna go to that squat. But what I want to add to this, if we want to, we can add in a squat jump, all right? So keeping it there for about another five, four, three, two, and squats. Let's go. So we're just going to squat, but maybe we want to put in a little jump in there as well, okay? So we come down, jump up. There we go. Down and up. Just that little hop up is just going to make that little bit more, this is a little bit more challenging, all right? Adding that extra strenuous, bit of strain to the muscles, okay? So dropping that bum below the knees or level with the knees. Keep it there. Yes, Carl. All right. We are, this one's gonna be a long one, okay? We've got 15 seconds left. Keep it there. Good. All right, in 10 seconds, stay there. If you've just got the regular squat, that's fine too. Don't worry about doing the jump, okay? For four, three, two, and rest in. 20 seconds rest, okay? The next one is our narrow push-up, okay? Our narrow push-up. So, bring those hands in close. Getting those triceps involved, getting those front delts in there as well, okay? So in 10 seconds, we're down to the mat again. We take that narrow grip. So let's talk about something here. We can do something to make this more challenging. In three, two, one. Okay, so for these bodyweight workouts, they don't have to be simple or easy. They can be simple, but they don't have to be easy, sorry. So if you want to, you can play around with your tempo. Maybe you want to go slower on the way down, okay? Slow down the tempo, go a little bit more explosive up to the top. Maybe you want to go to the knees so you can still get that depth, all right? It's okay to do that. 
keep it there, Carl. You've got 20 seconds left, all right? This is a long one. The last round is where we're really going to elevate that heart rate, making those big muscles work right now, okay? Keep it there. You've got 10 seconds. Count your reps in your head. Keep those elbows tucked in. How many more can you get? Here we go. We got five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, beautiful. There we go. So the mountain climber. The shoulders are going to be gassed now. Okay? So, again, stack in the wrists under the shoulders. Get into your mountain climber position. In about 10 seconds, I want you to now go a little bit faster. So this is that cardio accelerator. We're looking to get that heart rate up that little bit more now, okay? So this is really important. In two, one, and let's go. So, for these ones, you can bring the knee across the body if you want to. Give it a little variation, all right? These are simple exercises, but they're not easy exercises. If you want to bring those obliques into it a little more, cross that knee over your body. Kick that knee through your body. Make this more challenging, okay? We want to breathe. We want to make sure we're getting the heart rate up on this, okay? This is high intensity. This is interval training. This is what we're doing here. Okay, so keep it there, team. We've got about 15 seconds. 15 seconds on this one feels like a long time, and the last round's going to feel even longer. I shouldn't say that, but it's gonna. All right, so 10 seconds, five seconds, Carl. Get a few more reps, just finish out strong on this one, okay? In two, one, and 20 seconds rest, okay? So up on your feet, this is it. We got burpees. We're getting a little bit of sweat out here, all right? Here we go. So the burpees, this is the last and final, okay? So the burpees, now we can go a little bit more if we want to. We can get that heart rate up through the roof. The last one in five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Okay, so chest the floor if you've got it in the tank. If you can't, that's fine. Kick back straight into that plank position. Kick yourself back up again. If you really want to make these challenging, I need to see you jumping off the ground. If you really want to make them extra, extra challenging, bring those knees up nice and high, okay? You can do a tuck jump at the end of this one, okay? You don't have to, but it's there, all right? These should never be simple little easy exercises, okay? The simple exercise is the hardest one. We're moving up 15 seconds now. Carl's flying through the last few reps. We've got 10 seconds to go, okay? Beautiful. All right, stay there. Couple more reps. We get one more at least. Here we go. We've got five, four, three, two, one. That's all she wrote. Okay, so active rest. One minute now. Breathe. Stay bouncy. So the idea here is we don't want to let ourselves get cool. We want to keep that, get that heart rate down a little bit, but we want to try and keep it elevated as much as we can. So, we'll stay busy, however you want to stay busy, all right? You can dance, you can move, whatever it is, okay? Taking a deep breath, taking the sights and sounds of where we are right now, okay? It's a beautiful place. <laughs> so, the last round, this is going to be the most challenging one, because the last round we go 50 seconds on with only 10 seconds rest between the exercises, okay? So, these exercises, you've obviously got these changes in rhythm. We've got the slower tempo on the push-ups. We can bring in a little more speed in those uh, those squats. We can go into some burpees, get the heart rate, the intensity up, okay? So it's all these different levels that's gonna make this challenging. So 30 seconds, we go through one more time. It's only three rounds on this. Simple, effective, heart rate up. We're gonna get ready, okay? We're gonna go one more time through. This is 50 seconds work with 10 seconds rest. Are we ready, Carl? Yeah. <laughs> He's ready like Eddie Eagle. Yeah? <laughs> all right, okay, so 10 seconds and we're going to get ready. So the push up, going in five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, push up, let's go. So now, slow the tempo down if you want to. This first exercise can be an active recovery, okay? Obviously, you're getting that work, those big arms, the shoulders are working right now. That's totally fine. But if you want to, slow it down, bring the tempo down, just get less reps with quality form. It's okay, you don't have to bang out reps for the entire time. You can do two, you can rest. You can do two, you can rest. Let's keep it there, keep it moving. This is gonna be a much longer round. This is also the last one. Just keep that in your mindset right now. Okay, here we go. Come on, Carl, you got this. 20 seconds left, okay? This is a push. It's the rest in between that makes this challenging. It's 10 seconds, just enough transition time to get into your next exercise. Keep it there. Carl, we've got 10 seconds. Here we go. You're so close to finishing right now. Okay, in five, four, last rep. Three, two, one. That's it, okay. Up on your feet, you've got your re uh, reverse run high knee drive, okay? So 25 seconds on each side. In five, four, three, Two and one, let's go. Okay, so reverse lunge, drive that knee up nice and high. So I'm not gonna ask Carl to do this because it's a little off balance where we are right now. But if you're at home, you could also bring that knee up and add in a little hop in there, okay? So a little knee drive with that hop, that'll make that this a little bit more challenging if you need it, okay? Keep it there. All right, 
We're going to stay nice and solid on this one for about another four seconds in three, two, and switch sides. Okay, so 25 seconds each side, really simple here. Okay, think about that alignment, slow it down. It doesn't have to all be super high intensity. We've got two exercises in there that'll do that for you, okay? Woo, so about 20 seconds left on this one. Starting to feel that burn in the legs, I'm sure. Here we go, <laughs> big facts, okay? So, here we go in two, one, and resting, 10 seconds, okay? 10 seconds and into that narrow push-up, okay? No, sorry, we got squats, my bad. I was gonna save his legs for a second there. In three, two, one, let's go. So, make these body weights, give a little jump in there as well if you want to, okay? It's, it's up to you. You can make this as challenging as you like, you can slow it down if you need to. If you really wanna go for it on this one, then please do that. Try and get your feet up off the ground, bring those knees up a little bit higher, but making sure we're trying to get a nice depth in that squat, the bum goes to about knee level, okay? If you can get it lower than that, then that's great as well. Here we go, we got this, Carl. All right, so, once we get to the last sort of 10 seconds of this, we're gonna to ask to go a little bit faster. Just because this is the last round, I wanna make sure you get the most out of it, okay? So keeping it there, we've got about 15 seconds. So last 10, let's blast it, okay? Here we go. We got 10 seconds, let's go. Okay, a little bit of a push now. Squat drive, there we go, pushing up. The legs are gonna get a rest in a second here. Keep it there, Carl, for four, three, two, and one. Relax, okay. Now we have that narrow push up, okay, team? Getting ready for it in five seconds. Okay, three, two, one, and let's go. Okay, so keep that push up nice and narrow. Now remember what I said in that last round. What you can do here is you can play around with the tempo. This exercise doesn't have to be super fast. You can slow it down, slow down the eccentric, the lowering portion of that workout, okay, of that movement. Dropping that chest down nice and low, driving up nice and fast, okay? Keeping it there. Let's go. So, you might get less reps on this one. The shoulders are already gonna feel burnt out. And remember, you've got some more shoulders coming up in that mountain climb where it's hard to stay there. Listen, we've got 20 seconds. 20 seconds to this one, the last time you get to do these push-ups. How many reps can you get? You should feel those triceps burning right now. You should feel the front delts, the shoulders are going. Okay, we've got 10 seconds to go. 10 seconds, Carl, last few reps. Keep it there for me, team. I want you to follow along as best you can with, this, with these reps. Keep it there, team, everybody. And time, 10 seconds, here we go. Up on your feet, all right? Mountain climb, sorry, no, stay down there. We've got mountain climbers, my bad. All right, team, let's go. In three, two, one, mountain climbers. So, stack those wrists underneath the shoulders, lock that nice and tight, keep that midline tight, and I want you to go as fast as you can. We've got one more exercise after this one. This is gonna be our finisher. This is where we're gonna make it really challenging. Let's keep it moving, Carl, all right, listen. Okay, I know this is challenging. I know this is gonna be really challenging. We've gotta go, we've gotta go. So. Keep it there, keep it there. Okay. We got about 25 seconds on this last one. I want that last 25 seconds to go nice and fast. Let's get that intensity up. We're into the last 20 seconds before we get that final blast, that final exercise into the burpees to finish, okay? Keep it going, all right? 10 seconds, Carl, you got this, mate. Let's go, okay, team, if you're having a hard time, if you're struggling right now, I need you to go a little bit faster. Five, four, three, Two and time. Okay, listen, we've got that last round of burpees going up, okay? So, get up on your feet. This is the last little push. Maybe we'll do some of these together, okay? Here we go. All right, in two, one, let's go. Okay, so if you want to, bring that chest to the floor and then get that little jump in there as well. Make this challenging, okay? Try and get up off the feet if you can. This last little round, this last little push, okay? Here we go. When we drop the chest to the floor, don't slam your body down, okay? Oh. Even if your shoulders, your arms are getting tired, keep that core super tight. Everything has to be controlled. Here we go, Carl, last few reps. That heart rate is up right now. I know it is, okay? Simple exercise, exercises, effective movements. Here we go, last little push. We're into that last little drive, okay? What you got for me? 15 seconds, Carl, last little push, come on. Stay there for 10, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, here we go. Four, three, two team, let's go. One and done. Yes. Yes. Listen, I'm gonna give this man a few breaths right here, okay? Take a second. How are you feeling? Mash up. <laughs> Listen, but good though, right? Oh man. This is it, right? The main thing right now is how are you feeling? Are you feeling that inside, that little bit of a push? These workouts, they don't have to be long. I know we got the advantage of being out here in the ocean. 
We've got the sun shining on us. It is a bit chilly, I'll say that. Cool. But we're warm now, right? Nice, <laughs> the breeze is nice breeze now. Is nice. So listen, take a second. What we don't want to do is just drop that heart rate back down again, okay? We need to take it in a more gradual pace down through this warm up, okay? Warm down, sorry, cool down. So what we'll do here is we'll just take it slowly down to the floor and I'll get myself into a little bit of a pigeon stretch, okay? So get that knee across the front of the body. So we're looking to get down here, okay? And just open up those hips a little bit. We did pretty much a full body workout today, okay? Total body. We covered the upper body, the chest, the shoulders. We covered the lower body, the legs, and we got that heart rate up through the roof with Coach Furphy's and mountain climbers. Carl knows about that, all right? So really important just to open up that hip, the hamstring, get a little bit of movement there, those hip flexors, open it up, stretch everything out again, get some new blood back into the muscles, okay? These little stretches are what is gonna prevent those DOMs. When we do this type, these types of workouts, we end up doing a huge amount of reps, okay? I didn't even count the reps there, but there was a lot of them. But when we're doing that kind of high rep range, there's always that chance that you're gonna feel that with that volume. It's just gonna feel like you're gonna, two days later, you might get those DOMs and even without weight, okay? So really important to stretch. So switch over to the opposite side. And sit into that hip again. How are we doing over here, Carl? I don't know if you can hear Carl right now, but he said he's feeling heavenly, okay? And I think I believe him, all right? I think that's actually an honest statement he just made. Heavenly after that workout. So, <laughs> listen up everybody. We're just gonna go from here, bring the feet back behind you, and then sort of sit onto your knees or sit onto your heels. This is called a child's pose, I believe. I might get taken out by the yoga crew right now, but, I think it's called a child pose. So sitting down into those hips and opening up that upper back. We spend a lot of time sitting down, all right? We spend a lot of time at our desks. So these types of uh, stretches, opening up that thoracic spine, that upper back, really important, okay? So a big stretch up through that upper back. You could also then bring one hand kind of underneath through your body, okay? And open up that upper back, okay? That extra stretch and also through the hips as well. So just hold it there for a couple of breaths before you switch out to the other side as well. Good, bring it over to the other side, Carl, that same thing. Here we go. Nice little stretch over. And then we're just gonna slowly come up to standing, okay? Because now we're gradually bringing down that heart rate. When we're in that cool down process, we just want to gradually bring it down. Don't just let it stop and then walk out the door. We need to decompress a little bit. So slowly bring it up to standing. Woo! How are we feeling? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Listen, all I can say was that was a great workout by Carl and I hope you enjoyed it as well, okay? Thank you for joining us in this beautiful location, okay? Go and check us out on the Virgin Active app. Go and check out Virgin Voyages, all right? We're here. We'll see you next time.